That's a look at the tail of the tape for our main event tonight on HBO Boxing After Dark. 28-year-old Nonito Donaire. In your tradition of proud Filipino fighters, Flash and Lorde, Pato Villa, introducing... Former flyweight champion made three successful defenses on that title. Effervescent personality. Says his opponent reminds me of me. Speaking of Montiel. Rounds will be victorious. And here comes Fernando Montiel. Fernando Montiel has been for years a world-class fighter. But when he made the decision to stop being a safety first fighter, he not only became more exciting, he became more effective. I don't think he was ever regarded quite at the level he is now regarded within boxing circles, and that's nipping at the heels of the top 10 pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino, this is the main event of the evening. Being brought to you by Bob Aram's Top Rank Incorporated in association with Promociones Sanfe and La Cerveza Tecate, patrocinador oficial. This bout, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC and WBO Bantamweight Championships of the World. From Las Vegas, Nevada, the Philippines, and Mexico, ¿Quién es el más macho? Introducing first, the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner. He steps into the ring wearing Pinoy, red, white, blue, and gold. He weighed in officially at 118 pounds. As a professional, he maintains a record consisting of 25 victories against one lone defeat and 17 of his victories coming by way of knockout. The former WBA interim super flyweight and former IBF flyweight champion of the world from General Santos City, the Philippines. The Filipino Flash, Nonito Donaire. His opponent across the ring in the red corner. He steps in wearing white trimmed in black and gold. He registered an identical weight of 118 pounds. 
as a professional. He steps in with 44 victories against only two losses, two draws, and 34 of those victories coming by way of knockout. The former two-time WBO Junior Bantamweight, former WBO Flyweight, and the reigning WBC and WBO Bantamweight Champion of the World. Fighting out of the Gimnasio Cochul Montiel, y puro mochi, Sinaloa, Mexico. Fernando Cochulito Montiel. Okay, trunks here are good. Trunks here are good. Anything below that line is a foul. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room so you know that I expect a clean fight. I want to remind you to protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Acuérdese, quiero una pelea limpia. Dios los bendiga, toquen guantes. God bless, touch up. With Marco Barrera and Antonio Barrera and Eric Morales. Which one will this be? 12 rounds to settle that score between Montiel and Donaire.
But TL showing a strong chin here, but that was a beautiful right hand he just took from Donaire. And his knees didn't even buckle. Donaire is a puncher. When Victor Chinian was rampaging and beating everything, just destroying guys, everyone in his path, Donaire destroyed Darchinian and has rarely lost a round since then. Now, now you see Montiel starting to put the pressure on because he realizes he's not going to win an outside boxing match. So now he's going to apply the pressure a little bit more. Boy, how should he go about doing it? Well, he's doing it with feints right now. He got his hands up high and he's faking at the guy. He's trying to make him do something or hold him for a jab like he just did. But Donaire is a slick character, so he has to be really careful here. Getting a little rhythm here in round number two. Countered after Donaire missed with a wild right. Good throw. Oh, there you go. Out of here. It's over with. It's over with. That is done. That is done. steps in and allows no further damage. And really, he took those two punches pretty good to be as hurt as he was. Official time of the stoppage. Here's Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, a series of uncontested blows obligates referee Russell Mora to step in and stop this bout with an official time of 2 minutes, 25 seconds of round number two. The winner. By way of technical knockout. And now the new WBC and WBO 